Hello, three on three basketball coaches and basketball players. My name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training, and today I'm going to give you a very simple, easy, and successful strategy on how you can win more three on three basketball games. This is a quick, simple, basically a quick, simple strategy that is going to win you more games. So let's get down to the clipboard. I'm going to show you the offense, and I would love to know your comments below on what you think of this simple strategy. Let's get down to the clipboard. Okay, so first off, essentially we have three spots on the court. Those are the three spots. From there, those three spots, 90% of the time, always have to be filled. Once you have that down, this is called the pass and cut. Basically what's going to happen is player one can pass to player two or player three. Let's say, for example, he passes to player two. After that pass, he's going to cut towards the rim, and now he may be open for that layup. But now we have that spot open, and no easy way for player one to get back to that spot. So what's going to happen now is player three is going to fill that spot. Now he could be also open for a three-point shot. And then player one is going to curl out and fill that empty spot that's on that far side. Next, if player two is doing a pass and cut, which is what we just did with player one, he's going to pass over to player three. He is going to then cut towards the rim and he's going to try and cut in front of player two so that he has an open lane for a layup. Now, once he gets down towards this low block, because he came from the side, from the corner, what's going to happen is let's say he's not open, one of two things can happen. First, I want to see him post up his man for one to two seconds. If player three dribbles out towards that right side, then what's going to happen is we're going to post up for one to two more seconds. If he is able to get an advantage over his man, player three is going to pass him the ball to take his man to the net. If not, and he's not open or he's not gaining an advantage, we're going to have now player one fill player three's old spot, and we're going to have player two cut out towards that far side, again filling these three spots. Now, starting back up to the top and going with the pass and screen away option. I like this one the best, personally. Now with this option, what's going to happen is player one is going to pass, and just like the offense says, he is going to be screening away. So when he screens away, player two is then going to fill that empty spot and he could be open for that three point shot. He could also cut towards the rim. That's another option. If he cuts towards the rim, now actually first, if he cuts up here, he's not open or whatever it may happen, they're in their spots. However, if he cuts towards the rim instead, what's going to happen is now, if he's open, definitely hit him up for that layup. If not, what's going to happen is player one is going to fill out towards that spot. Player three is going to dribble back up top. And player two is going to finish his cut and pop out towards the opposite side that he started from. Now going from there, if player three passes to player one, he screens away. Just, just so we can get the ball over to the, towards that corner. And let's say player one now passes to player two. Well, there's nobody over here for player th one to screen away to. So what he's going to do is pretending that these three players are in a somewhat kind of like a circle. He's going to be screening away by back screening towards player three. Now he can take that big wide loop. Personally, I wouldn't. What he would, what I would personally do is when he passes to player two, cut across, do a high cut across, and set a back screen on player three. Player three will then cut towards the rim, and he may be open for that layup. If he's he if he is, definitely give it to him. If he's not, he's just going to pop back out, and we're now back in that same three spots as we were before. What about pass and screen four? Very simple. Player two is going to pass to player one. We're going to then have player two set a screen for player one. Player one is going to use that screen. He's going to pop out towards that spot that's open. And we're going to have a possible shot by player one 
or player two rolling towards the basket, especially if there was a switch, he could be rolling towards the basket for an easy layup. Now, personally, I like adding in a couple of extra moves into this offense. So you sure, sometimes you can just pop back out and fill that third spot. However, I personally like setting a back screen for player three at the same time instead of popping back out. And this is now going to allow player three to have the option to have a lob pass for that layup as well. Now, if he is not open, they're just going to be clearing out towards those three spots. And again, we are back in those three spots that we started from. Now I hope that this offense helps your 3-on-3 three -three team win more games. It's nice and simple, nice and easy, and simple concepts mean that you could probably win more games because the other team may be trying to do more confusing type plays, while this is basically the KISS format, which is keep it simple stupid, K-I-S-S. Sometimes it's beneficial to run simple plays. Anyways, I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys again later on today for the second video of the day.